If you've got cards or questions, go ahead and hold them up. We'll have people come. They've been, they've been picking them up uh, pretty good. Here's a quick question for you. Um, you Bobby Holesclaw first. Uh, casinos, yay or nay? Well, I think Bobby has, has been very, very upfront about saying she's interested in, in letting the, the voters decide on, on, through a constitutional amendment, of voting or whether or not they want to expand gambling in Kentucky. And that could take several forms. I think what they're talking about is at least something that would, would expand gambling to at least we would compete with uh, the gambling boats that are already uh, up in the line on our state borders and keep some of that money here in Kentucky. And it would. Uh, Bobby is basically interested in finding some sensible solution or compromise people can live with that would at least protect the horse industry that we have now and provide a, an avenue for Kentuckians to keep their gambling money here and here in the state. And uh, after that, you'd just like to see people have a vote on it. I think, I think the position of Mr. Williams is that no vote, no how, no way, and, and that's it. So, and Governor Bashir, of course, for a while was all in favor of casino gambling. And I guess in every corner, and then kind of lost interest when he couldn't get control of the state senate. He wanted to use it more as a, a partisan issue, uh, and then when that didn't work out, he just kind of lost interest. I don't know where he is on that. But I, I would say, lastly, the figures that were cited a couple of years ago for how much money casino gambling, if we did go through it, it would bring in, is probably vastly overblown. Uh, well, we've looked at the numbers, and probably the best you'd get is about three hundred million dollars per annum to the state budget. Bobby has said, if we do go ahead and do that, and the people vote on. Uh, expanded gambling, that, that money ought to go uh, to uh, school, fund school choice initiatives and things like that. We can't count on that money as, as a great new source of wealth. It would probably be a fairly limited amount of money we'd collect in the end. But it's something we, we don't want to ship in Indiana, if at all possible, or Ohio. We ought to keep right here. Gambling's an interesting issue because most governments are interested in gambling because they get such a large percentage of the gross revenue of the casino or the slot machine place or whatever it is. On average, they get about 40, 41% of gross revenue. And I can tell you this, that, that revenue is the mother's milk of big government. And, and the last thing, honestly, it's against my, I goes, guess it goes against my grain that, uh, that I'd wanna do anything that would fund government to allow it to be bigger because government tends to not do much uh, good with the money that they get. So why would I wanna give them more? Said. I would I would fully support a, a referendum on expanding gambling after we put our tax system in place because in, in the tax plan that we want to put together the single rate consumer sales tax on all goods and services is at the same rate and it, and it applies to all services and all goods equally so if the government thinks that it's a good idea to have expanded gambling and, and your representatives and you guys want to expand gambling where the state's only getting maybe 7.1 7 or 7.2 percent of the revenue coming in, then I think that should be it. But if we allow them to, if we allow the government to leach higher percentages of revenue out of those companies, we open the door for the government to want to do that again with other things and build that over time.